Hey everyone, just wanted to show you how I apply my Jamboree nails in case you didn't watch the long video. So just a quick one here. I've got all my tools. I've already wiped my nails with my alcohol wipe. You can use alcohol wipe or you can use um, white vinegar. I've got my file. I've got a um, cuticle pusher and I've got scissors. So that's basically all you need other than a heat source. And I have running already my Jamboree nail heater and it's super quiet so hopefully you can't hear it. But I just wanted to show you how I apply one really quick. These um, other Jamborees that are on my hands, these two have been on for about a week. So they're looking pretty good. Let me just show you close up there, about a week. This is gel. Um, this one is called Fresh and also been on a week. And um, But I'm just gonna show you quickly how I do this one fingernail. So I use the cold method, which means that I don't heat it up ahead of time. And I just set it on my nail near the cuticle you don't want it to touch skin at all and if it touches skin it's going to wrinkle because the skin is going to push back on the jamboree and it's going to cause wrinkles and we want nice flat natural polished looking nails and so this is the quick way i'm just doing this real quick to show you so i take a look at it make sure that it's lined up the way that i want it to be and then i'm going to heat for about three seconds till it's just about pliable. I don't want it to curl up too much. One, two, three. And then I'm just gonna press it. And I can press it with my finger or I can press it with that purple um, tool that I showed you. And I'm just gonna press it with my finger just to show you. So I'm gonna press up the center from the cuticle to the tip, or I could do down from the tip to the cuticle. And then I'm gonna do around the sides around the sides and I'm going to reheat again one two three four around the sides push down really good we want to push down really good at the tip I'm gonna let this cool I'm gonna file it I'll come back and I'll show you the finished product so I've let it cool now I'm going to file at a 90 degree angle to get off the little bit of rough edges and some people like to follow this up with a glass file or a metal file so that way they get a really nice smooth edge. I'm gonna heat it up one more time. One, two, three, press it, and I'm gonna press really good at that tip. And I'll have a finished product. You can see just how nice that is. There you have it. Enjoy your jams, bye.